this video actually came from a question that we received on our Facebook fan page. And I uh, just want to thank uh, Cheryl for this topic because uh, without her question, I would not have thought to make this video. Now, what if you have a blog set up, but you cannot seem to install a theme? What probably you have is an account set up on wordpress.com instead of wordpress.org or what they call a self-hosted blog. So if you have an account with HostGator or with Bluehost and you've installed WordPress, you have what they call a self-hosted blog. If you've gone to wordpress.com and you've created an account, then you have a site that's actually hosted with WordPress and there are some differences. So let's take a look. Now this, what you're looking at here is the dashboard of a blog that I actually have set up at wordpress.com. So WordPress hosts this particular blog. Now there are some major differences. You can see automatically they've got some nice little things um, set up, ratings, there's a poll system, it's automatically installed. But for this video, I wanna take a look at the themes. So we're gonna go to appearance and then themes. So you can see right now, this is the current theme that we're using. And if you wanted to switch to a different theme, if you have a wordpress.com hosted site and you wanna to switch to a different one, you can see like this lifestyle theme, this one costs 75 bucks, I don't wanna do that. But this beach theme, yeah, maybe that looks kinda of cool. All you have to do is just hit activate. And if you activate it, it's kind of the same thing as installing it. Technically, all of these themes underneath are already installed, which is good. But now I've activated it, so it shows at the top here. I'm gonna visit the site just to kind of give you a look at the new changes. And you can see it's a different looking site. So let's go back to the dashboard. And so that's one of the big, big differences. Again, let's jump back into the themes here under appearance. You can see you cannot install a custom theme. If you do have a theme that you've purchased or that you found elsewhere and you want to install it, you have to have a self-hosted site, which means going through either like Bluehost or HostGator. And we've got videos for those. Um, if you remember, we've got the videos uh, that you can see on how to do that. Now, if you want a little more information on why you're not able to upload custom themes within a WordPress.com hosted site, that you can definitely jump on this page. I'm actually going to put the link in the details of this video so that you can just click on it there. So if you have any questions on WordPress.com or what you can and cannot do with WordPress.com, just leave us a comment below this video, and uh, I definitely appreciate you watching. Stay tuned, stay connected, and we'll see you on the next video.